All right, guys, this is crazy, man. Two Polish people back to back. What are the odds of that? All right, man, we're going to be talking to Kinga. Now, you guys would have to be long, long time uh, watchers of Travel Costa Rica Now's videos. We made a video with Kinga, one of the first videos we ever made, like, I don't know, 14 years ago. Yes. And we're going to get into all that because we got a lot of catching up to do. But I got to pay the bills. Hey, guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicanow.com. TravelCostaRicanow.com is a travel agency. So go to TravelCostaRicanow.com. Fill out the four-minute form. You'd be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. We're like you, having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. Hey, man, please subscribe. We love the subs, uh, subscribes, but YouTube doesn't care. To see our videos as we put them up, you got to hit the notification bell. All right, man. We Kinga, Kinga, we got a, <laughs> we got a lot of catching up to do. So, so Kinga and her now ex-husband came to Costa Rica a little bit before we did back in 2005. 2005 right? in May. Now, so uh, although I'm going to put the video we originally did all okay. those years ago, yeah. let's just um, let's just start out by back then. How how did Costa Rica get on the map? To, to when you guys, you know, what were you thinking about? How did you get here? Did you twirl the uh, globe around and just go like this? How did you guys get here? No, we did some research for a honeymoon, a good place that it was affordable and clean and pretty and nice. And it came up to our attention because it's a very rare to have a country with an army. So that was something of our interest. Wait, wait, well, I'm sorry, where were you living? Where were Los you guys Angeles, living? California. Oh, so you were living in Los Angeles, okay. So, so we want to try something else. So we're like, yeah, why don't we go to Costa Rica for honeymoon? So we did. And so, well, obviously you stayed. So what happened? I mean, no, what, not how, stayed. So how did it get on? I mean, you're, you've been living here now for as long as we have about 16, 17 yeah. years. So what got you after the honeymoon? Did you guys, I don't know, fall in love with Costa Rica or what yeah, was totally. it? Yeah, totally. So we were here in 2000, 2000 and we went back to California. And for me, that was the end. I did not want to be part of the civilization anymore. <laughs> and be part of the rat race. And Tell I'm us just, how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, right. I did not want to live in the stinky, busy, smoggy city anymore. And Costa Rica was a beautiful option. So it took us ex actually five years because then my ex father was sick. I was in the middle of acupuncture school. So I needed to finish all those things, sell the house, move all the stuff. It was a big project. When you when you guys were thinking about coming here in that process of the five years, did you guys have plans of actually how you're going to, because you're not, you're like us, you're not independently wealthy. You had to come here and right. do some work. So what was your plans for like making some money? Uh, we wanted originally to open um, a retreat center on our land because the house where we came for honeymoon had 10 acres. So we were thinking to build like a wellness center. That was the plan. So part of the wellness center was acupuncture and massage, which I was learning in that moment. So I finished all the schools and then we moved and that was the plan. Just real quick, just so I could tell, since you uh, bought land, you, it was like 10 acres, right? Mm -hmm. It's still 10 acres. How, how, how much was it? How much with the house? An older house, a kind of a... Oh, what is on it? Yeah, what's on it? You have two so little... So it's a main house, which has three bedrooms, a tower, which is like a um, tower, double house, but it's only bathroom, and there's a bedroom. Right. And then there are two cabinas, which are like a camp houses, and a building for like cows, chickens. With 10 acres, how much did you pay? 80000 Eighty thousand dollars, man! <laughs> Jesus. And the ten acres was farmed. It had a bunch of papayas, right? Farmed yeah, fruit farm. Fruits. It was a fruit farm. Yeah. It was a fruit farm. There was some yucca growing, pineapple growing. Uh, people in our town were actually rent from the previous owner, and they would grow things for their own. Um, Benefits. You know, back then, obviously, it was a lot different on how to do your research and homework. What did you guys really know about Costa Rica before you got here? I mean, a honeymoon is a honeymoon. And that doesn't mean you know, like, how do we, can we stay there? Can we live there without right. being resident? You know, all right, those little, right, right, right. can sure. we get a bank account? Can we do this? Can we do this? How much research and uh, homework were you guys able to do? Were you guys pretty prepared as you got here? I would say then we'll do most of the research and he will read. There was 
Tico Time or something? Tico Time, right? Yes. He was signed up for Tico Time online, which is like a local newspaper. For gringos. For gringos, right, in English. And he will do all the research at least six months ahead before we went. We came here first time. So you guys felt pretty prepared on kind of what to mm -hmm. expect? Yeah. I would say there were a few snacks and surprises, but overall... <laughs> it, is Costa yeah, it is Costa Rica. Right, exactly. Did, did you guys, did, you guys came here then bought the land or you the land you were purchasing before you got here or all right i'll explain so <laughs> this is kind of funny story because when we came originally to costa rica we did not want to stay in the, in the hotels hostels we just want to be left alone we want to be left alone this is our honeymoon we want to walk around naked if we wanted to right so what is the perfect place oh i know i know don't get excited keep drinking water <laughs> so <laughs> what happened is um we rented that house that or now I am the owner. Thank you very much. And um, we, when we came back to Los Angeles, so we rented for three weeks. We came for honeymoon for three weeks and we went back to LA. And for me, I was set in my heart and this is gonna be my house. It fires right, um, energetically, physically. It's nothing fancy, my house is not fancy, but it felt like my place. So when we came back, I did actually zero research and then was like looking for other options. So there was a bigger house, but smaller lot. There was bigger lot, but tiny house or no house, or you have to go up the river or hike to the forest. So all those different options within those price range that he was looking for. And I was like 80,000, this is good. And then we found out later on that that house is actually for sale. So how serendipitous was that? Yeah, kind of no of shit. So we actually start paying for this house maybe a year and a half, two years after we came in the honeymoon. So 2002, we make arrangements with the previous owner who was a gringo from, I think Harris from New York. And we just start paying whatever we could. So every month was a different payment. Sometimes we could afford $200, sometimes, you know, 2000 if our savings were Was good. there a contract? There was a contract. It was a contract saying that Harry, the previous owner, can rent the house ongoingly until we finish the payments right, right. and we move in. So he, it was a good sweet deal for him. He was renting out to other people on vacations. And, and getting your money. And <laughs> getting our money. So it was a very sweet deal for him. And actually it was a good deal for us because the house was still taken care of. No common hennes, you know how it is yes. when the house is left alone. Common hennes is a ant, then eat wood. Uh, uh, Termite. 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 Yeah. Yes. So actually, I was happy that people were coming and going to the house when we were. You yeah, know, you don't want you don't want a house sitting no. there empty. No, no, no. Not here. Exactly. This the, is the not jungle it. will swallow it within oh, six yeah. months. Oh my God! Absolutely. So it was actually a good arrangement. So in 2005, we actually finished our last payment, and then the house was on our name. And in those days, which is still actually the same situation, you cannot own the house without being the owner of the corporation. So I, Kinga, now am the owner of my house, which is very rare. Why? why? Because, it, because usually you have to be in corporation. The corporation owns the house if you're a gringo. So my lawyer was able to pull that through. I don't think they do that much anymore. Those corporations right. aren't as big as they, everybody. Right. They put car incorporation, motorcycle yes. corporation. Phone, remember? Yes, yes. Now, now that's oh not God. a thing anymore because you have to, to be a fun. you have to pay like three hundred dollars a year to keep that. And to up. open because I open it for my business. Right. Five hundred dollars to open a corporation, and you need four people. So I am the president. Is a secretary and two witnesses. I remember those days. I just opened like two weeks ago. Oh yeah? Five hundred dollars yeah. it cost me. So anyway, so this is what happened. So when we finished the last payment, then in May two thousand five we moved here. So that's when we met you around that time and we were starting to make videos. We did an inter interview with both you and Dan. Right. But I remember we used to have, man, the fun is one of the funnest times of us living here was having game nights. Friday night. We need to go Friday, back. Friday night game night. Right. We, would, we would play the most simplest yeah, apples, to apples, <laughs> yeah, apples to apples, apples to apples. Dominoes, and we'd have a we'd have a potluck and uh, drink or smoke or whatever. Skinhead, remember? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! I remember those days. And then Kinga, actually, so I don't can't remember her whole sequence of what they're doing, but she ended up uh, owning a 
a, a massage place. She gave massages to most mm -hmm. to tourists. She taught me how to give massages, and I actually worked for Kinga for about a year. Yeah, and you actually paid off. Yes, I had to. Yeah, it was different. I, I used to do massages because I, man. Yeah. What we, happened? When are you gonna massage me, man? <laughs> when we What's came down, on? when we came down here, it all fell through. So we had to find ways of making some oh, money. You do whatever you need to so, do. So what I didn't want, I didn't want to dwell too much on the past. So I think what's let's we can make this really easy. He's your ex-husband now. Uh, still in the process of divorce. But I mean, you've been separated. Three years. About three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I kind of want to maybe move into that area yeah. more. So that area was it kind of <laughs> was it kind of scary? I mean, kind of your. I mean, you yes, you obviously know Costa Rica. Obviously. It's not like you don't know the country. Yeah. But where you know you're out there. Uh, we didn't say this, but she lives about you know, 20 minutes from La Fortuna. You know, and she's uh, it's more of a private. You know, it's private like out there. Like a small village. I mean, was it a little scary? I mean, you're, you, you've been married, you know, a large part of your life. You're now, you're single now. Was it any apprehension? And That was really interesting because I actually went home. I'm Polish, so I went home to Poland. And when I came back, he was gone. Okay, so well, that I don't was want... a very weird situation. I'm, His I'm, was I'm all friends gone. with Dan. We don't want to get too. We don't very want to go... weird situation for me. We don't want to go too far down this rabbit hole. No, no, thing. I understand that. I'm not going there. I was just saying that I had the mixed feelings of being relieved because we were fighting so much the last year before we separated. Um, I was relieved. I was happy. I was overwhelmed. I was scared. I was lonely. All of those things. Well, yeah, all I think of it. It's a cocktail of everything. That's that's normal. I think wherever you are, when Here you're going go. through that tough time I like that, right? I have good friends. Yeah. I have really good friends like Mike and D'Angelo and Mary, and my neighbors, who really helped me through this tough time. So you've kind of, uh, even during the whole time, you've been pretty much doing the same thing. You do a lot of massage stuff, ac acupuncture, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Reiki, Reiki type uh, stuff. Reiki, capping, and sacral cranial. Cupping. So you've been doing that the yeah. whole time. Mm -hmm. you, you no longer have that massage place we were talking about, but you, you've been doing massage pretty much the whole time. Right, right, by the work. <laughs> Okay, so let's get back to this. So, w what was that like? So now you're kind of by yourself, and you know now the you know it's your money. You got to you know got to keep making the money and yeah. pay this, do this, and do that. How that? Oh, extremely easy. Oh yeah. Extremely easy because it's simple. Because we had joint account, and then I found out that I wasn't on the account because he took me out. Okay, so Kinga, he, we are not going yeah, to. So we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it quite like this. So. <laughs> Let's now, try to be. You a, ask me a question <laughs> about my finances. My life e right now is very easy. <laughs> is that a good answer? <laughs> That's a good answer. So much simpler. What, what do you like? So, truck. did you ever did you ever consider <laughs> leaving Costa Rica? Mm, not really. So obviously, I think you. I think I know some of these answers because I think you're kind of like us. So, um, what do you like about living here? What's what's some of your maybe the top three or four things that that you would miss if you left Costa Rica? I love my job. I love the people I work for. I have my own schedule. I'm independent contractor, so I can make my own hours of work, which gives me tremendous freedom. I have really good people in my life, good neighbors, good friends. I'm yeah, independent. But, but tie that into Costa Rica as the backdrop to that, because I think people underestimate the, we were talking, I was talking about it with, the, we call him Mac. He's from Poland too, because his name is too hard to pronounce. Ah, he right. said, you call me Mac. But he, he was saying, uh, you know, the stress level here and getting off the hamster wheel and this Costa Rica mm -hmm. provides more of a, a very more tranquilo right. back setting exactly. to the things that you want to do. Absolutely. So I was kind of going for more of a coast. Those things are great, but mm -hmm. how's Costa Rica tie into that? No, Living clean air, clean food clean clean environment and no army that's for me is number one i feel safe 
I need to feel safe where I live. And I feel safe here. If I can go to my village one o'clock in the morning and never worry, then somebody is going to do something bad to me that gives me safety and freedom. That's kind of big, yes. Kind of big. And you don't, you're here kind of sort of, I guess, now on your own, per se. You don't have family here, uh, relatives or anything in the country. Just neighbors. Just neighbors. Yeah. Live with my dogs. But you don't have residency, do you? Working on it right now. Yeah, same. Again. See, some people don't see. Okay, now again, they. I always talk about D'Angelo with this, but people don't understand that the yeah. perpetual tourism thing is real down here, and I'm just assuming right. that's what you do, totally. and it's very easy. D'Angelo's been doing it for now for 16 years. Yeah, I did it for. I only got residency because of working. That I just was trying to get legit right. you know, things I needed totally to do. If I, understand. I if I wasn't doing that. I would be going well, over I'm Nicaragua. I would be going to Nicaragua. No, but you. I am in the process of residency, so I don't have to travel anymore. Do you? Are, is that why you're getting it? Why do you? Why do you want it now after 16 years? No, because I need it. Well, I want it. But you've had residency before. Never correct? had no. residency. No, they they were in the process. I remember Dad that. Dad got it, but I. He says he will apply and. Okay. Well, that but that was a long that time ago, happened. right? That was a very long um, time ago. Ten to twenty-one sponsored him. Oh, so, so that well. was a long. Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, but 10 years ago or whatever. Residency only lasts so long and then you got to redo it. Well, his lasted for like a year. It was a temporary and he failed to redo it. Okay. So he lost oh, it. Oh, I didn't know that. So now know he he's, in yeah. he's in trouble. Sorry, trouble. we're talking about our ex who's our, a friend of ours as well. But uh, yeah, whatever. So no, I wish him residency. the best. I wish him the best. Just leave me alone. Yeah. I just want <laughs> Do your things, just don't come over to my house. We were talking about residency and how it can, it, it's not permanent. So like, Michael, you got residency. For and, two years. And now it, 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 now it's done with, and now you had to apply it for a second time. And it's over again in another year. Yeah. So, so I'm, now I'm, marry, I'm marrying somebody. <laughs> I don't know. You should. They have somebody. I shouldn't say that. Actually, I, I, I could, yes. Yeah. So somebody has um, reached out to me and said that they would do it, yes. Well, hook me with, up. with no with no strings. Hook me up. No strings attached. So. They're not tying you up. But <laughs> okay, why am I why am I saying why am I saying this on video? Yeah, man. Anyway, I have my residency. Woohoo! Congratulations, yeah. man. Uh, Whew, let's move on. Let's move uh, on. <laughs> here. What well, lapses again? Which it does. Yes. Right, right. So, what advice would you give to people that are thinking about making a major move like we've all made? Would Would you what, what recommendations would you tell them? Because to tell you the truth, not this, not just the Mac guy from Poland the other right, day. Right. There's a lot. Germany. I on the emails that I get now are not just the United States anymore. What? It's it's Germany. It's what? Poland. Seriously, a, Polish people are migrating. Yes, yes. Run, <laughs> run, far, far away. Number one, learn freaking Spanish. Basics. Number two, learn the history and all those different things that we prepare you to live here because it's a culture shock for everybody i thought i was prepared and i'm still like wow wow that's interesting so those two things yeah there's there's definitely some things prepare that you have to yourself. get used to prepare yourself <laughs> and learn spanish basic knowledge well just to, to push back on that yes i guess you should learn spanish i have not and i'm still <laughs> here so <laughs> There we go on that one. She said but, basic Spanish. Yeah, basic, basic Spanish. Yeah, but your Spanish go is good, store, right? Spanish, yeah, go to the store and get things. Yeah. If you can go to the store and buy clothes and food and stuff, then you're that. fine. Yes, then you're fine. You're fine. Now, when you do, um, okay, so when you do like legal stuff, like your residency or some serious banking stuff or your business stuff, do you have anybody helping you with translation? Because oh, yeah. mm-hmm. that's what I tell people. Even I do. the some of, and you probably understand a lot of it, but you just. You always want to make sure that you're understanding the contract. Yeah. So most people like us gringos would get a, a third person in there to translate. Or get a lawyer who speaks Spanish yeah, right. and English. Like my lawyer in Sierra Quesada, he speaks Spanish and English. So if there's a document I don't understand, I take a copy, take a picture on my cell phone, send it to him, and then he summarizes what it is. What are you getting? What are you trying to get your residency under? What, what uh, category? <laughs> As a volunteer visa. Oh, that might be, mm, really? She already signed all the papers and I filed all the documentations in the immigration. So I'm just waiting. Is there a lawyer helping or is it just oh, a, yeah. okay, mm-hmm. good. That helps. That's a Volunteer you, visa. So Kinga works and helps out at a school, a local school. Right. Um, so. Father work. Yeah. Hearth advisor. 
You know, uh, the reason I don't tell people about the sponsor stuff too much is because it's very hard to get. Ah, sure. It just, it's, just, it's like the work permits. You know, mm -hmm. you can, yes, can you get a work permit in Costa Rica? Yeah, but probably you're not going to. Difficult. <laughs> you, you, need, you need Dell Corporation you, to... You need the company to sponsor you and put the paperwork for you. You can't right. do it yourself. Right. Yeah, it's, it's harsh. It's, yeah, it's difficult. So, um, uh, we won't get too personal on this, uh, but uh, so you were married and how do you find... Um, I'm, I'm, you're dating. I mean, so... <laughs> what? Go on. Can I ask? Ask me. So how, how's it? I mean, how's that going? You've been kind of single now for kind of three years, really. Yeah. But so, are, how's that going? Great. How, Never how, been so popular with men. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> She's single and Yay, ready to mingle. Man. <laughs> are you looked at as a, a foreigner still in this country when you're in the dating life? Like I know, um, it, it, from what I see, like a lot of Costa Ricans, a lot of Nicaraguans, they like dating foreigners to them were exotic or do you fit into that realm of i mean because you're kind of like their skin color their hair color do you fit into that exotic foreigner look to them i suppose because i date people from all different countries yeah so international <laughs> i didn't know tinder went around the world i don't <laughs> use tinder don't lie you don't, no seriously you don't use any uh, apps F facebook only and people ask me to be their friends Face i don't do any effort Facebook is your dating app? I suppose. <laughs> Cute boys send me, hey, how are you? What's going on? And we have coffee and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> and, that, and, and, and you know what? That's all I want to know. <laughs> we don't need to hear this. Good. Anyway, I will have her phone number down in the description. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no. Joke. That's a bad joke. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. So I, I'm assuming that, uh, would you ever go back? Would you, I mean, would you die here? Is that your, you know what I mean? Is, I don't know. So you would leave if like the stars aligned? I don't yeah. know. I love Costa Rica. I love living here. I have friends. I have a good job. But if I feel like moving somewhere else, I will. Would it be, would it be back to Poland or would that never oh, be no, an option? No, no snow for me. No. Yeah, yeah, that's how we feel. If it's cold, no, we're, no, we're no, not no, going. No, 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 Warm place. Warm place. Yes. Uh, what, how's your winter closet? What do you mean warm place? Yeah, you got a lot Yeah, of <laughs> no, 10 kilos of clothes on, do not turn me on. Yeah. No, yeah, we're so done. So I'm kind of a t-shirt, jeans, shorts kind of a girl. Especially when you, once you've moved here, everyone loses their wardrobe. Everybody. Yeah, look at the shorts and t-shirts. And perfect. it's all, well, for me, it's always a white t-shirt because I do that whole simple life. But oh, I, simple I, life. I, I mean, how, how many people come here with, with trunk loads of clothes oh, that God. they never ever wear <laughs> i have some because when i go to poland to visit my family in the attic in the tower they have like three sweaters and warmer pants but it just sits in the plastic bag in the you don't attic. ever use them here in never this <laughs> please never no. <laughs> emma went to visit someone in states and i just gave her the clothes she used it and then she brought it back yeah. scarves and gloves and it's like oh my god so how do you see your future how do you see the next five years? What, what, what are you doing in the next five years? If you Fix up my house. I need new roof, new windows, a few more fixations around different things that I want to improve. And then see you, I, the house is, I, I love the house, but yeah, I could see how you might. Now I need new roof. There's a place that leaks on the front porch and it's ruining the wood. Yeah. So I, I'm working, I'm saving money and I'm just fixing little by little by little. I did a lot of improvements, but it still needs more. I so, think I think the houses here, especially, always need, <laughs> need something because, yeah. I mean, I think the humidity and the oh, sure. is just a killer on these houses. I want to put aluminum when uh, roof, and that's a little more expensive, but it doesn't oxidize, therefore it doesn't rust. Yeah. So it's more expensive, but in the long run, lasts three times longer. You get what you pay for, basically. I know. You're sort of in the farmland area where you're at, but you still get kind of. Critters and animals in your area, like oh you, my god, you I have torciopelo in my house. Yeah, well, that's that's not mm. a good one. <laughs> Say that in English. Torciopelo is a venomous, poisonous. That's snake. the fur lance, isn't it? Yes. The fur lance is one of the most dangerous, nastiest snakes in Costa Rica, and the reason it's nasty and like that is because it's aggressive. Right. It's not one of these little. Uh, coral snakes that just sit there and wait for you to step no, on it. No, no, no. This the one. The fertile ants will chase you. Yeah. <laughs> but you have cuter 
critters like uh, sloths, baby sloths, oh, mama yeah. sloths. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. I have a almond tree in my house in front of the porch, and there's a sloth there three times a week. Are you Just still farming? Chilling. Are you still got the, uh, like a cow and the chicken? I mean, no chickens, no cows. I have there's a garden. Uh, so before I, I only ask her that because before you were doing that, right? You were doing. Uh, this is on Dan's property. Oh, okay. Does he have a cow? <laughs> uh, Daniel owns cows are okay. walking around, but actually I raise them. So they're but you like do my the, cows. You, but you garden, right? Yeah. You have garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's in your garden? Uh, six different kinds of lettuce, spices, basil, oregano, black pepper, white ginger from you. Uh, not ginger, white turmeric, turmeric yellow, curcuma, um, basil, uh, tomatoes, chilies. Nice. Plus all the fruit trees from before. Well, I still walk around and I pick it yeah, and I still eat the fruit. I just want to tell this quick story because I just always uh -oh. found this. No, we, we talked about this game night thing we were doing back yeah, a long time. And back. people, 16 years later, we do want to start that again, but there was this one night. So game night was what it was. We had games, potluck dinner, a lot of drinking, a lot of smoking, just fun, just easy games that you could talk shit to. One time, shit. it was Kinga, her ex at the time, her mother, who's Polish, doesn't speak any Spanish or English. This is a, a friend story. of ours named Walter, who had broken I English and only Walter. talked Spanish, I me and D'Angelo, and we're playing this game and nobody knows what the fuck anybody's saying. Right. It was the funnest, <laughs> it was the funnest time ever. I know. And Walter won and didn't even know it. <laughs> I know, it was totally clueless. It was so, I mean, it was so fun. So we're gonna so try to start fun. that, uh, game night stuff up again because the only yeah. reason the only reason we stopped it Got is it. because people l left like katie ah, katie right, left right, uh, right. what was her what's the older ladies lynn lynn <laughs> oh, <laughs> hope she doesn't watch these videos lynn uh, yeah She's so in panama. panama panama or she was in davi colombia right? Uh, she moved to Panama. Mindy moved to Colombia. Mindy went to Colombia. Oh. So uh, we I only saw because group, people yeah. kind of left. But we did this, and everyone looked forward to it. Every what, Friday or Saturday we did it? Yeah, 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 weekend. But okay. one time we had, like, every continent represented. Uh, Nobody so could understand anything. It was funny. <laughs> I think there was four languages <laughs> yeah, there that right. day. <laughs> we yeah, but it. they weren't interconnected. It was, so it was a great time. It was a great time. time. We always ate something, pasta or something. It's always something there. easy and playing just the easiest, simplest yeah, games ever. It, it was, was so fun. much fun. Oh no, we played. Yes, uh, uh, pig's foot dominoes. Yeah. yeah like that. So we're gonna get back. We're gonna. You know, we've been yeah, doing. You need to come. Actually, we we have started. We're not doing the game night yet, but we have started the gringo meetings a little bit every now and then. Huh? You should come to one of those. We just we just basically go to a, a local bar, uh, local restaurant. Yeah. And just everyone, we just started that maybe a couple months. It's only been a couple times. All right. But yeah. Well, let me know next time. Send me a WhatsApp message. All right, Kinga. Well, I feel like we're caught up a little bit. Can you think of some, anything else we need to chat about? Yeah, tell us about your dating experience. About my, my, about my, <laughs> I can't hear you, what? What? Peas and carrots, peas dating and carrots, peas and carrots. My dating experience is easy. In Costa Rica. One word. Grinder. <laughs> I knew it. And it's not dating. <laughs> Right. Kinga, thank you. Of thank course. you. <laughs> <laughs> on the tree. This is on video, dude. <laughs> you want to get into like uh, business, opening up stuff here, Bye. doing stuff here, anything like that? Um, she has um, gone through the court systems and the legal, like business systems things. Actually, yeah. Let's not get too like the, the thing. But even doing like okay, the, the divorce or like starting a business. What? It, that's actually. Thank you. Is the process, do you feel like it's any different than it is anywhere else? Is, you know, you got lawyers involved. Is it the same kind of crap you would have to go through in the States or Poland? Or is it worse? Is it, do you find the red tape here a little uh -huh. much? Uh, you, what question are you asking? About uh, the question exactly? is, I'm just, how you know, like you're doing it. You did it. You're doing a divorce or in the midst of it it's or painful. close to it. It's painful. And I know it, but well, it could be painful on like painful. 10 different levels. Right. Painful just because of the emotion, you know, no, the emotion. No, no, no. It's painful because very simple. Dan is US, from US, I am from Poland, and we got married in Las Vegas. And you're in Costa Rica now. Right. So this is, I don't know if my lawyer can pull it off. Seriously, we are trying, but I might have to go to Vegas. To go where? Vegas. Well, 
Which is gonna. You know, be talk, talking to you is bringing up stuff. So this so happened. Much fun. This Used happened to, to live in Vegas. No, this happened to me and my wife. So what happened yeah. was, when after we were on that reality show and win that house. Right? She and uh, the kids went to Fiji to live. Right. I sold everything in Vegas. I live in Costa Rica. She's in Fiji. I'm in Costa Rica. Uh -huh. We don't have a mailing address here anymore in Vegas. You know what she had to do? Oh, God. She had to, and uh, with my blessing, she had to say that I was... Abandonment. She, abandonment. That she she just hasn't you heard abandoned from me. You your woman? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's because we, we, literally, guy, we, we literally could not get it done because there oh, was Jesus. there was no mailing address. She's in Fiji. It was almost impossible to get. It was uh, oh just a total my fiasco. God. And so it was an abandonment thing. And that's how oh. we, she, we got it. And you divorce. got it through? Yeah, yeah. She did. I didn't do anything. I'd, I abandoned her. You <laughs> abandoned her. No, but you know what I mean? And that's yeah. how, because it was kind of that same situation where. Hmm. What do you do now? Right. Exactly. So I don't know, we're still trying, and my lawyer is pushing, and I don't know, it's been already two years. So how much are they helping you here? You, do, you find you're doing a lot of stuff yourself, or is the, are, the, are the lawyers helping you? Uh, helping? I, ho I hope my lawyers are helping me. One lawyer, Carlos. Do you feel like you're, I mean, is the payment okay? You know what I mean? Like, is it worth it? Are they? I don't do know. I have no idea. Until I have that piece of paper, it says divorced, then I will answer that question. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. I, I'm not qualified right now. I haven't seen anything. I yet. haven't seen anything, so I don't know. I don't know where I am right now. Seriously, I'm very confused. All I want is peace, and that's what I have that's right now. That's interesting. You know what? You might have to go back to Vegas. I know. This sucks. Well, Oof. now these days they have um, online applications you can order it online and do stuff online or i mean vegas has drive-through weddings and drive-through divorces right. so it should be and now easy. and now that you can give signatures over yeah. the internet electronic yeah so maybe you can do, go that route yeah oh that God. was gonna be interesting when you did your massage business did you was that right i don't mean it was a long time ago when you had your place right here yeah mm -hmm. were you legit Oh yeah, everything was legal. All the documentations, all the permits, business license. Like you had a name and all that, and you paid all the okay. Yeah, healing, healing center. Was it was a difficult process? Then took care of that. So yeah. I don't know. To my understanding, he just went to a few offices, paid some yes, pay, pay, pay some fees, and got some permits. Uh, what about living here for people who want are thinking of moving to Costa Rica and say like a small farm town or touristy area like you're in? Um, how do you find like shopping and uh, things to do compared to where you were before in the States and Poland? Is there a lot of big box stores or movie theaters, bowling alleys, things to keep yourself entertained and uh, shopping, things like that in your area? Where I uh, live, nothing. No, river, no, river, no, no, and no. <laughs> river dogs, river cats, river yeah. hammock. <laughs> That's about how yes. I Yes, <laughs> and if I want something like what you mentioned, I have to go to all Fortuna, with a few things, even here, they, we don't have theater. So I have to go to Quesada, which is 45 minutes from my house, right? Because I go the other way. Or we have to go to San Jose. Or you just get Netflix and say, forget it. Or you just find <laughs> new hobbies. Yeah. I know, it's funny, a lot of people say that. Like, what, what, are you, what to do I'm never around bored. the area? I'm never bored. Boredom is a, a reflection on yourself anyway. I am never bored. I have a thousand things to do. I'm writing a second book. I write poetry, should, 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 I we plug the, should we plug the first one? What's the first one? No, it's called End Stress Forever. It's online. Say it again? It's an e-book. End Stress Forever. End Stress Forever. Where could people find that if they were interested? Uh, Barnes, and Rob Barnes and Noble. But more or less, what is it about? It's an e-book. How to deal with stress in everyday life. How to decrease your triggers. And well, if anybody's ideas. been living that the last few years, it might be you. you right. Might have <laughs> yeah. You probably, at night, you're probably looking at your book going, I need to do I, I need those <laughs> advices. I need to read that. This is a good Who wrote this? This is good, good stuff. <laughs> I need to take this in. I have done that before. Like, I would flip through my book, and I was like, wow. Because I have one printed out copy. It's an e-book, right? So you right, download right, right, yeah, it. Yeah. But I have one printed out copy in paper, and I was like, wow. I was pretty smart yeah. X years ago. I was like, wow, this is good shit. I'm working on a second book, so. Well, King, I hope we don't wait uh, 16 years again to yeah, talk to you. Yeah, if you invite you. me. Huh? We're on video, King. <laughs> I 
still Why are you airing all this, yes, this lot of oh beautiful. <laughs> well, if anybody has questions for Kingas, put them in the comments and we'll do a third video with her and she can answer them. Yeah, do okay, not call me. Let's go back to this. Thank you very much, King. I appreciate it. Hey, guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. This is Kinga. Peace, guys. Hope it Bye. helps. Hey, things are going to pop up. Are you thinking about living or traveling anywhere? Always do your homework and research. And, and if you're Learn thinking about Costa Rica, Spanish. if there's... <laughs> And if it's Costa Rica, there's no place better to start than our videos. We'll put them up against anybody's. Ciao.